So I want to learn how to do something uh, on the computer <laughs> with the web, and I, I often use YouTube. And this is especially true for Google stuff. So I'm going to show one quick thing to learn Google stuff on YouTube that I always show at pretty much every training that I do. So say I want to learn how to make a Google site. So I'm going to probably use the word tutorials. And the challenge is that what I end up getting is the most listed things often come up with the most hits, right? So this guy's on the top, but it's from four years ago, and Google Sites look totally different. So the one addition is right up here. When Once you've done your search, this little filter button comes up, and I'll often pick it up for something in the last month or something in the last year. I also want to look for stuff that's like less than eight minutes and probably less than five. So this, this guy right here, no, this one right here looks pretty darn good. Four minutes and 48 seconds, I like it, except it's in Spanish. <laughs> All right, so let's go over that one more time. When I'm in a normal search, there is no filter button. But once I type in, now my filter button pops up. I can do short videos only, I can do HD, Creative Commons means I can steal it and edit it, but most importantly, I want to filter by time, because whether it's Google Sites, or Animoto, or anything else on the web, it was probably different two years ago, and it will be less helpful. But the problem is that things that existed two years ago have the most hits, and therefore come to the top of our searches. All right. That's worth knowing. Uh, happy searching.